This Halloween cat project video will show you how to make a page full of black cats that look like they're all playing peekaboo. My name is Kathy and I've been an art teacher for more than 20 years. This project not only makes a very cute picture, it's really easy to do. Let's get started. First, these are the art supplies you're going to need. And if you'd like to turn this into trading card art, get a plastic trading card sleeve like this. Stick around to the end of the video to learn more about them. You can also use this step-by-step -step tutorial from my website, Art Projects for Kids. The link is included in the description of this video. Step number one. We first need nine orange cards that are two and a half inches wide by three and a half inches tall. You could cut them out yourself with scissors as I have a cutting guide included in my download, but the easiest way to make them is to have an adult use a paper cutter and make a few quick cuts for you. This is a standard trading card size. Step number two. Now do the same with a black sheet of paper so you also have nine cards that are two and a half inches wide by three and a half inches tall. By making these cards the same size as the orange ones, we're guaranteed that the black cats that are cut out will fit on our orange cards. They won't accidentally be too big or anything. Step number three. Now you can place your drawing guide nearby as you draw your cat shapes on the black paper. Feel free to follow my samples or better yet, make up some of your own. Step number four, I'm gonna start with the top left cat. Use a pencil to draw the shape and go over it a couple of times so it shows up pretty well. Step number five, use your scissors to cut out the black cat. Don't worry about any of those pencil lines showing as they're pretty easy to erase when you're all done. Step number six. Now take your orange card and with a glue stick add some glue on top and line up your cat with the edges and then press it in place. Step number seven. It's time to make some eyes. Take your strip of yellow paper, fold it in half, and cut eye shapes the size that you think you want. Cutting them on a fold will guarantee that they're the same size. And when you're done, place them on the cat and see how well they fit. Now use your black marker to make some lines inside those yellow eyes so they look a little bit more like a cat. If you want, you can take some of your scraps to cut out a black tail for your cat. Feel free to do this for all of your cats or just some of them. It's up to you. Whatever you choose, I found it's easy to just glue them down with a little bit of overhang and then trim off the extra tail. Step number eight. If you do decide to turn this into trading card art, all you have to do is insert your cards in a plastic sleeve like this. Continue making the next eight cards so you can fill up all nine slots. Another option is just gluing your cards down to another sheet of paper. That will look great too. Step number nine. If you're not sure what art trading cards are, I'm happy to show you my notebook with some projects I've created over the years. It's from an after school class where we used to make a different page each week. It's really fun to use paint markers and photo art and stickers and texture rubbings, collages, watercolor, marker drawings, paper punch stencils, and more. We would have a lot of different themes and then keep all the cards in a sleeve so they stay nice and shiny and protected. Hey, I hope you enjoyed making these Halloween cats with me. My name's Kathy and my website, Art Projects for Kids, has helped millions of kids make more art. I hope that includes you too. For more projects like this, please check out artprojectsforkids.org where you can find over 700 no prep step-by-step -step art lessons. They include how to draw a pumpkin and how to draw Frankenstein. Thanks for stopping by and taking time out of your day to make more art.